I'm here in Concord, North Carolina at the NASCAR R&D Center in front of the NASCAR Submission Car. This car is used to test the Ford, the Chevrolet, and the Toyota bodies. It's also used in wind tunnel testing to try different components when it comes to rules changes. In front of me, you have all the different changes. Splitters that were used in the wind tunnel for the short tracks. The rear floor pan that you're actually going to see this week at Phoenix. The unveil of the short track rules will be this weekend. This is the rear floor. This is the middle of the car going towards the rear bumper. The big difference for the race fans is how it will look from behind. The normal diffuser has multiple vertical fencings that come down. You can see it all the way at the tail of the car. This one, only two of those vertical strakes and much shorter, almost hidden underneath the rear bumper cover. The other change to go along with this rules update is the rear spoiler. It used to basically be at the top of this carbon fiber panel. Now it's about an inch wider on each side and an inch taller, trying to add back a little of the downforce that the rear floor took away. The combination of these two are going to change how the car is handled. I'm joined now with Dr. Eric Jacuzzi, Vice President of Vehicle Performance here at NASCAR. So Eric, first question, the fans have seen the different parts on the car. How did we get here? What did you do to test and figure out that's what the car needed? The biggest step was uh, December 5th and 6th last year. Um, we conducted a test at Phoenix. Um, prior to that, we've been doing a lot of CFD work, wind tunnel work. We had some things we thought would be pretty promising, um, brought them to Phoenix, and uh, a couple of the things that we tested ended up being a positive that we're implementing. Race fans love numbers, more horsepower, less horsepower, more downforce, less downforce. Give me the overall, more or less downforce than what we saw last year. It's about the same. It's just different uh, how it makes it. So obviously uh, we've taken some power out of the diffuser um, and we've added it back with a little bit of spoiler. One of the key learnings out of the test, we had tried a uh, different splitter that was made the car much lower downforce. And ultimately the driver feedback was that was too far, uh, too little downforce. So they didn't feel like they could race around each other. So we feel like the downforce level we're at is, is pretty good and it's working uh, well, and obviously we'll continue to work on, on the program, but it's about the same overall. So the same downforce, but from what I understand, this is basically about how the car slips and slides. Currently, the, the original diffuser, when the car goes sideways or gets in yaw, it loses a bunch of downforce, very hard to recover. At a lower speed racetrack like Phoenix versus Las Vegas, we're hoping that this aero package will allow the drivers to slide a little bit more, be overall more maneuverable behind the wheel, hopefully generating more passes. Yeah, that was one of the things we saw in the uh, wind tunnel was that it's just much more forgiving in yaw. So it doesn't lose a lot of downforce, which is uh, a problem we fought with the old diffuser. So that should let the drivers be able to slide, not be penalized. And they were pretty universal at the test that they, they perceived that and it felt more gentle and that they could really slide the car and not you know pay a, a huge price for it. Well, Eric, appreciate your time. Well, guys, a lot of testing went into these parts, but the big test will be all 36 drivers when they hit the track Sunday in Phoenix on Fox at 3.30.